more old school in the dating ways. You know, I just wish somebody would walk up to you and approach you on the street and just say, oh, you know, I was admiring you from afar. You know? <laughs> Welcome back to another vlog. Fawn and I were being domestic divas today at the um, laundromat. Washeteria. Washeteria. Here. I call it Washeterias in Houston, Texas. I guess out here they're called laundromats in New York. But while we were being domestic divas, we saw a sign for a studio apartment. Not that we were really looking but I just decided to go ahead and give them a call. So now we're on our way to go view it. Um, where we currently live in Queens, New York, there's the Grinch in Kew Gardens. Our company shuttle is like literally halfway down the block from where we are. Um, this place that we're about to go look at is a little further away Thank you for the lighting. It's um, really so I can see myself. <sighs> it's like a 14 minute walk from the shuttle. And it's a studio. But right now, we basically live in a studio and we are really growing out of the room like that we day. have. Fawn has all her crap here. Like, I live here. It, it, sh she lives here, y'all. So Whoa. everything is here. Oh my gosh, it's a lot colder than it was earlier. I don't need that wind to stop. Um, where's the um, so yeah, we are just like rapidly growing. We live in a three bedroom, um, one bathroom apartment and our roommates are really, really nice. But if we can get more space for less money, why not? Hello. Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't with me. <laughs> so, when we called him, he said it's 8.50 for the studio. And it has its own bathroom, of course. Kitchen. But we need to see how small it is. Because if it's super, super tiny, I don't think it's going to make sense. But it costs less than what we're paying for our room right now. So. If it ain't got no stairs. Which might really be a good thing because y'all know I was still really wanting to get up out of here by um by June. And yeah, that's another thing. We live on the third floor of our building. Really low-key like the fourth floor because it has one little level of stairs before you even get to the first floor. It's real dark in here. So we're gonna go check it out. And we're gonna bring y'all along. Tell me what you think. And then I'll give y'all, mm, probably might need to clean up the apartment first. <laughs> Before I give y'all yeah, the apartment it's, tour. It's bad right now. This, look, this is a no judgment zone YouTube channel. Keep your nasty little comments to yourself, okay? We <laughs> live busy lives. So if I show y'all the apartment, it's a little, it's a little all over the place, just close your eyes. I think we're almost here. Yeah, this is quite a bit of ways from the shuttle. So that's one thing we won't have anymore because I ain't walking this far to the shuttle. But with us having a line, right. instead of being on reserve, we more than likely won't be, well, Fawn don't work when she's on reserve. But, so for me, <laughs> It won't be probably as much back and forth to the airport because honestly, if I get my schedule the way I want it, work about three, four day trips a month, that's really just three times of going to the airport. Okay, one time coming back. So six walks. Thank you. Thank you, have a good night. You too. Okay. Call the guy. I know. Wait. 
said 120, he said 123.07, right? Oh, you don't have his number. I have his number. Okay. This is the address he told us to go to, but it looks like somebody lives here. He's a cute little, little, he said it's an apartment, but this is a house. Upstairs, like if it's an upstairs. Oh, room. upstairs. Uh, mm, mm. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Do I gotta go through the house to get up there? Bruh, come on. Cool. Okay, so there's a back entrance. Yes. Not furnish it yet. And if you guys decide it, what you guys want it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it. You guys interested for both of you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You see the bathroom, everything brand new. It's nice and fresh and white. <laughs> Stand up shower. So you guys are upstairs? Yes. Okay. Okay. And your children? Yes. Yes. Okay. Where does this door lead to? Uh, this is just the, you know, the, the, all the electrical supplies. Oh, okay. Them. And the kitchen is upstairs? Over here, no have a kitchen. Oh. Yeah, she don't want it, the people cooking. Oh. So, no cook, no pets. Okay, well that won't work. Yeah, no? Not work. <laughs> well, yeah. like we have cook, to leave you. No, bring it because you guys have a people, they never cook. They always cook outside or they bring you by themselves. Yeah, I understand that, but we're here a little more often. Yeah. So cooking is definitely yeah, but she, a necessity for she us. Don't mind it. That's, that's Yeah, that's what I'm your place, your rules. You're not walking back? What you? It feels good. Okay. So. That was a waste of my time. Not really. We had to come see it. It's all right. That man told me he had a kitchen over the phone. Oh, he did. What the hell you think? I, but what he I, said, <laughs> I think he probably thought that and then talked to her and she's like, no, yeah, no, no kitchen. <laughs> so what he said was that space down there, I didn't like it. I wouldn't have wanted to live there anyway, yeah, even if it, it had a kitchen. Sorry. Just because. It'll work for somebody, just not us. Yeah. So if you are a flight attendant out here looking for somewhere in Kew Gardens to rest your head a couple nights. But that's even still expensive though. $8.50? I don't think it's expensive. Well, if you, I don't think it's expensive like if you split it. Like say you have two line flight attendants that yeah. work their own private space. That's true. But no, not, no kitchen? That's the part that just blows my mind. Like right. I can't even he sip water. He's gonna put a microwave. Like, yeah, he's gonna have a microwave. So basically, you would just have to have. That comes in for their yeah, and that's it. true. If you're a person that eats out all the time and just does Uber Eats and orders your food, you then come here a couple times a month. you're just here a few times a month. It's fine, but that was um, that's just not going to work for us. So we're still going to be over here <laughs> yep. at our little spot for a little bit longer. So hey, but I guess you know, like Fawn said, it was nice to just come and take a look. There's always people looking for places. Starting walking directions to walk Tell all the YouTube where we live. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that way. Like, well. uh, I'll still give y'all a tour of our apartment. Just so y'all can see since I already told y'all I would. I think y'all have only seen the room. Not the, the rest. But we really are growing out of it like no joke. Like, even with all the fun stuff, it's still just a, it's, the room is smaller than my room at home in Houston. So it's just really cramped, you know? If we had twin size beds in there, it probably would be a lot better. You think maybe because it's like the winter stuff? Like, we started bringing winter stuff and that's when shit started getting real. But I still like, I don't need, I just think, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Just over time, you know, you collect yeah. more things. We shop. More clothes. We shop. More shoes. More Let me shuttle right here. Now we're gonna walk up halfway up the block and then we'll be home. Made it back. It's about a two minute walk. Welcome to Mikasa. 
walk through the door. Don't mind all of our empty <laughs> Amazon boxes. This is our kitchen. Very basic galley kitchen. It's got some food cooking on the stove right now. Then you have this hallway with a little storage closet. Here is my Bond and I's room. Okay, this is where we're gonna be a no judgment zone YouTube channel. This is my bed over here, Fawn's bed, and as y'all can see, the space is extremely tight, like tighter than tight. Now this is the living area, which is pretty spacious, still a no judgment zone. Yes, we still have a Christmas tree up because our roommate Liz has not taken it down since she put it up. We have our one shared restroom. Very simple, very basic. And then a linen closet. And then we have Maya's room and Liz's room. And that's it, y'all. So <sighs> it is, it's a little tight for Fawn and I. And this is better than a crash pad. One day I'm going to find somebody's crash pad and give y'all a crash pad tour of what a crash pad really looks like and how people really live in crash pads. It's it's craziness. There would be three bunk beds. Yeah, three bunk beds in this room. So two, four, six, at least six people in this room. Yeah, that's usually what it looks like. They have bunk beds just lined up on the walls and yeah. then like little storage cabinets for people's few things. Which means you just can't have a lot. So that's it for the apartment tour. Good morning, y'all. So I am just like, like feeling like I don't know what to do with my life. They called me with airport standby this morning and I haven't had airport standby in months. So I am just like, oh my gosh, I was not prepared. I have to be there at 8.05 and it is 7.32, so I'm going to have to definitely call an Uber to get me there on time. I'm in the refrigerator looking for my eggs so I can make a breakfast real quick and I can't find them. Um, and there's my tea starting to whistle over there. So let me hurry up and get about this house. I've been way too close for comfort this morning. It is 7.50. I have 15 minutes. This was just not how this day was supposed to go. So I had a five day reserve block to this week. Five days, it started on Monday. Monday and Tuesday, I had home reserve from one from 3 a.m. to 1 p.m. and they did not use me. Today is my third day and I didn't think they were gonna use me again because there hasn't been any trips on the board. And lo and behold, I had home reserve again from 3 to 1 p.m. today. They called me at 6 to be at the airport for 8.05, which I just wasn't expecting. Like, I had plans to, like, cook today and make all this food and go to the gym. So it just really threw me off this morning. I haven't had airport standby since almost, like, November, y'all. Even, like, I don't even think I had it in November. Maybe early, early, early November. So, you know, with airport standby, you have to pack all your stuff and you never know what trips that you may get and things like that so it really just had me frazzled this morning <laughs> but it's okay we're in the uber and um we're gonna get there and hopefully i get a trip since i had to do all of this mess just to get to there i made it on time uber pulled up to the the departure area at like 803 <sighs> as long as you check in on time that's all that matters you ain't gotta be here in the building just as long as that check-in is clicked. <laughs> Stand by essentials. Your laptop, tea, water, lipstick, tote bag, iPad, purse, <laughs> slides, and heels just in case I gotta run and hit the plane. 8.05 to 2.05 p.m. Am I gonna get a trip, y'all? I think I'm gonna get a trip. Oh, put a lot of lemon in there. <laughs> Jeez, airport standby. 
sit here and be comfortable. That's all I can do. Airport appreciation is officially over, and I am headed back to the apartment, meaning I did not get a trip, which is so weird. I just knew this five-day block that we're gonna work me, and they haven't. <sighs> reserve life, y'all. <laughs> that's that's all I can say. This is true reserve life. So I don't really know what else to do with my day. So I can go to the gym, maybe cook up a little dinner. Oh yes, I ordered some Hello Fresh meals, so maybe I'll cook one for y'all. I've seen some really good reviews. I've already made two of the meals and they've been really good. So yeah, I'll show y'all. Hey y'all. <laughs> That sounded so country Texan. Hey y'all. Anyways, whatever. I am done with reserve for the day. I had a 2 a.m. to 12 p.m. home reserve shift and I did not get used. So it's my fourth day of reserve. And I guess it's just been a smooth week in um, <laughs> aviation this week because I have been, I feel like I can't hear y'all. Um, or here myself. <laughs> I have been at the top of our reserve list pretty much all week and haven't went anywhere. Nowhere. Which is very, very rare. Especially when you're all the way at the top of the list. You would think that you would at least get used for something, but I haven't. So, hey, it is what it is. Um, I have one more day tomorrow, 3 a.m. to 1. Maybe I'll get a day turn. Maybe. <laughs> but, anywho, that's that for the week. I'm headed to the gym right now. Remember my 2018 goals is this 30 for 30. Lose these 30 pounds before I turn 30. Um, and getting used to New York and things like that. So, the gym I go to is about... A 15 minute walk away which isn't bad it's kind of chilly outside but I'm gonna make the walk because that's just what a good pre-workout for the workout that I'm gonna do I might uber back depending on how hard I beast this leg day so I made it to the gym I'm on the Stairmaster more love hate relationship with this machine but I was watching Oakland Woods new vlog um, life hacks on a broke flight attendant or something like that and she was talking about how she took a break from the gym and how she's happy to get back in it but boy I was like yeah girl I feel you but this is kicking my ass right now I'm at 10 minutes of the Stairmaster I'm gonna go for 15 <laughs> I had intentions of 30, but I don't know if I'm gonna make it. <laughs> I made it up the stairs. I'm just gonna hit this circuit real quick and uh, call it a day. Yeah, that Stairmaster got me good. It got me real good. And we're done. We got it in. Yeah. And I'm actually gonna walk back, even though my rear end is pulsating <laughs> from some of those workouts. Um, yeah, I just it feels good outside nice and sweaty I'm Gonna finish my bottle of water. This is the best water ever um, They used to sell it in the terminal um, Did I have a death wish today? Do I want to cross the street? No, I don't um, But yeah, it's the BAI brand by I'm not really sure how you pronounce it But you know they make all those infused waters and energy drinks so they were selling it in our terminal at the airport and I absolutely loved it. It tastes almost like it's infused with fruits, but it's not. Um, it just has like a whole bunch of antioxidants in it and I love it. And then one day they just stopped selling it. Found it on Amazon and I ordered a case of it. That's how serious it was because I need to drink water and I need a drink of water that I like. You just love when you're vlogging and people are staring at you. It's so funny. It's like, yeah, it's a camera with a video. I'm gonna record myself and talk to it. What else is it for? <laughs> Party girls and guys, I'm back from the gym and I'm gonna make me a little lunchy lunch. Um, I don't know if I told y'all, but I ordered Hello Fresh and I've been making some of the meals this whole week and they're really good. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. 
So I've made meatloaf hamburgers. They were really good. Um, the first one I made was this cauliflower pasta. Oh my God, it was cauliflower mac and cheese. Delicious. So today I'm going to do the sizzling Southwestern chicken. So it comes in this big box that's like refrigerated and everything's in there and then it gives you your recipes and ingredients and nutritional information. So all the different meals come packaged like this in the box. All the ingredients that you need for that particular meal are in here. And then the meats come as well. So I've had this in the freezer. I defrosted it because I knew I was going to be cooking that today. So let's see what all we have. Bell peppers. Peppers. Sweet potato. Some more scallion. Scallion, scallion, green onion, whatever you want to call it. Um, Southwest Spice Blends, another sweet potato, a lime, and um, some feta cheese. So this literally tells you how to do everything step by step. Alright, let's get to it. Ain't nothing but to do it. Okay, so while I cut these sweet potatoes, I'm just going to kind of give y'all... I know it may be a little confusing on how my reserve schedule is working because I told you I'm going to first class and I won't be on reserve anymore. So <clears throat> if y'all remember in December, I did um, some training. So I had a line. So I worked that line, had a whole line the month of December. Now we came to January and they put me back on reserve. That's why I'm reserved this week. So if there was any confusion because of that, I am so sorry. Starting February, I officially start working in first class and for my airline you know we do everything different over here once you are in the first class program that's all you work you know unless you decide to take a break or you know we have different ways that you can do it but basically that's all you'll work for that month and so forth and so forth but the way that it works is, is first class program it's a shared reserve system so basically meaning you'll either get three to three or four or five days of reserve based on what you bid and, you know, seniority and things like that. So for next month, I have five days of reserve. Um, and then the rest of the month, I have a line. So my first trip is a four day trip. I think I start on the third Then I have like another trip on the ninth. It's a two day trip. And then I have a five-day block of reserve. And then later on in the month, I have another two-day trip. And that's it. So the reserve is different from our regular core flights. Core meaning um, just, you know, what I'm working right now. Just regular flight attendant, not flying first class, just regular core. So here at my airline that's very near and dear to my heart, if you are not in first class and you just fly regular flights, um, we have um, just regular reserves. So I know some airlines do, you know, one month on, one month off. Some um, have a shared reserve system, kind of like how I was saying our first class is, where everybody has five or six days of reserve a month and then the rest of the month you have a line. Um, it's not like that here at this airline. It is straight reserve until you have enough seniority to where you can hold a line. And that's that. Straight reserve meaning you get your schedule. You will have 18 days out of the month that you're sitting in reserve. And then the other 12 days, you're off for the month. And that's it. And you don't know where you're going until the day prior, pretty much. Unless you prep bid. I've done a video on what prep bidding is. So go up here and watch it. Um... But yeah, I know I had a question about that, so I just kind of wanted to clarify on, you know, why I was on reserve and then off reserve and then back on reserve and what's, you know, it's going to be like going forward. So, but I am, I'm honestly really, really excited about working first class. Um, if I can be honest, I'm happy about that coin that's about to come <laughs> to this bank account of mine because 
regular core checks or not what's up, especially if you're not flying. Like this week, I haven't flown. So there's no per diem. You know, so I'm just going to get paid my basic guaranteed check. Um, and that's just not a lot of money. So with first class, we get a higher hourly pay rate. We get paid more hours for the trips that we work. Um, and yeah, and you're able to pick up more trips. It's just more money in general, point blank period. And you don't do a whole bunch of flights in one day. So y'all know y'all have seen me do vlogs where I'm doing four legs in one day and things like that. With our first class program, we only do one transcon flight a day, sleep, and do another one the next day. And that's it. So I'm not going to be doing four legs a day, three legs a day, two legs a day. Just one. Only do one leg a day, which is amazing. You work a lot because we do a ton of service in our first class program. I mean, those people, they ain't got to ask for a thing, okay, the way that the service is set up. But the flights are usually anywhere in between four and a half hours to six and a half hours, of course, depending on weather and things like that. But that's the average length of a transcon flight that we'll be doing. But we get paid a minimum of eight hours of flight time for the day. So that's how we're able to make more money and work less and things like that. Yeah, I just kind of wanted to kind of clear that up for you all. Holy kinky chick. I think that's your Instagram name if I'm remembering correctly. You know, you asked me a few videos ago to kind of explain the reserve system because I guess you're watching a lot of different flight attendants and everything's different. But every airline is different. So everybody has their different reserve systems. Um, full, straight reserve, off one month, on one month, or shared reserve. So it just depends on who you'll be working for. Oh, the picture has a red and an orange bell pepper, and I got two orange ones. Nah. So my dish is not going to be as colorful, but it should still be as tasty. <laughs> Fawn is in the room sleeping. I should send her to the store to go get me a red bell pepper. <laughs> she would probably kill me. All right, y'all. So this is Ron Fit. Remember Johnny? Okay, what is this <laughs> Ron? Who? Oh, his name is his name is Ron. We gonna call him Ronnie. Oh, um, he's a Q, y'all. Wait, are those abs? This side. Uh. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ronnie. Ronnie. How you doing? He's only five eleven. Fawn is only five two. <laughs> I still don't understand what you need height for. You're like five two and a half. Because when I put my heels on, you're still not even five six. Come on. I need I need his chest to be right here at my ear, right here. So when we hug, it's like. These are the reasons why we're still single, y'all. We want too much out of life. That is what my best friend told me the other day. I have a male best friend. We've been friends since oh, yeah. college, about 12 years now. And I was telling him that I'm a little more old school in the dating ways. You know, I just wish somebody would walk up to you and approach you on the street and just say, oh, you know, I was admiring you from afar, you know, something like that. But no, that's just not the world we live in anymore. Today is all about let me slide in your DMs, mm -hmm. um, online dating apps, and you know, I have nothing against them at all, but it's just, I don't know, it just feels so, I don't know, it just feels weird to me, especially when a guy slides into your DM, and they are just so, um, presumptuous, presum yeah, you know, the guy slides in your DM, and they tell you, oh, you're cute, you know, and they're just really presumptuous. And there's another word that I was using. Entitled. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. I told them. So, yeah. They slide into the DMs. And they hit you up with, yeah, you cute. I want to get to know you. But they just come off so presumptuous and entitled. And I don't like that. Like, not one bit. And my friend was telling me that I needed to stop being so mean and bougie about it. And give them a chance and talk to them. Because it's the same thing as meeting somebody out on the streets. What do y'all think? Because my mama is itching for some grandbabies. And uh, that ain't gonna happen unless the Lord blesses me with a husband. 
So should I be more open to the whole, let me slide in your DMs thing or not? Nah? So we just gotta wait for everything to kind of finish cooking here. And we'll be done. I will show you all the end. So guys, the food tastes awesome. The sweet potato gives it like the best flavor ever. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm gonna keep on ordering Hello Fresh. It's just really convenient for them to send every single thing that you need and not have like a waste of groceries. I think it's amazing. And I got a good deal on Groupon, so hey, I'm always for a good oh, deal. Oh, and one more thing before I forget. Because you all loved the regional versus mainline sit down, chat, open dialogue video so much, I've decided to make it a series in my YouTube channel. So maybe like once a month, I will do a sit down just like that with other flight attendants from my airline or if I can find people from other airlines to just have real true dialogue. Poised and Ambitious, I think is your name on YouTube. She said she loved it so much and we should, it reminded her of the show, The Doctors and you know, so that was just like, oh, okay, you know, gave me a really good idea. So thank you for putting that out there. So I do look forward to doing more of those, but I need your help. <laughs> With topics guys what I need from you all is to comment down below and give me some topics that you would like to discuss and I will find people even if it's something that I don't know about I will find people to talk about it and give you all the information that you want to know um, once again thanks for watching go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up Bye. 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 Bye.